Good evening, this is James with a short, boring, and informational video for anyone who's bought, or anyone who's ever bought a, um, a Canon, what's this called? A Canon WD H37 II, Roman numeral 2, wide conversion lens for a 37, I'm reading this off of Amazon right now, for 37 millimeter filtered diameter optimized for HD camcorders. That makes no sense. Uh, this is a wide-angle lens that I bought for my Canon HF10. And this fits a whole bunch of different Canon cameras, and I'm guessing this would fit any camera whose shooting end was 37 millimeters across. 37 millimeters is the diameter of this screwy bit on the end. Um, funny thing, Canon doesn't seem to sell lens caps for these guys. I mean, it says... Canon on this lens cap here, and I'm guessing it said lens cap, I mean, I'm guessing it said, I'm guessing it said Canon on the lens cap that was on this end, but uh, Canon doesn't seem to sell slide-on or push-on lens caps of any kind. What happened to my lens cap, it's, uh, well, let's see, I'm guessing that I left it on the table at the rehearsal dinner for my brother's wedding. Um, when I looked around the next day, it wasn't anywhere, and I tried to check with the hotel to see if they had seen it, but they hadn't. So, um, this thing was stuck to the camera all the way home, and I've spent the past couple weeks looking around the web and looking around stores around Tokyo for a cap that would fit on this end. But, uh, it's not exactly easy, because the dimensions, the exact dimensions, are not posted anywhere out there. So after some degree of trial and error, I found that what I need to fit on this end is not just any lens cap. You need a, what, what's it called here, Kabuse Shiki lens cap, 40.5 millimeters, well, this basically means four. It's four 40.5 millimeter diameter object, I guess. But yeah. This little guy here fits on the end. Sort of okay. I mean, it could be a little deeper, and it doesn't stay on that firmly. It doesn't stay on as firmly as the original one. And this guy here costs 880 yen. Um, the other option out there... This is plastic, you see. Slightly flexible. But the other option out there is a metal one, which appears to be deeper than this one. And that costs around 3,000 yen. But uh, given that the lens itself cost about, what was it, 18,000 yen, I might just go for the metal one just because I don't want this thing to fall off again. Because I want to protect my investment here. So, if you ever lose this uh, lens cap here off the back of your WD H37 II wide angle conversion lens, then what you need is a replacement is a 40.5 millimeter, well, what's it called in English, push-on lens cap or slide-on lens cap, slide-on slide lens cap, not sure what the actual term would be in English. Uh, there's a couple different terms I came across in Japanese. There's kabuse shiki lens cap, there's rear lens cap or bia lens cap, but this is what I found that ended up uh, fitting on the end. So hopefully this information will be of some use to someone out there, because uh, I couldn't find this information posted anywhere before. I had to try a couple different kinds of lens caps before I found one that fit. But this is the size that works. And, uh, oh yeah, I found this at the Yorobashi, the big, big Yorobashi in Akihabara. Couldn't find anything like this. Or is that, well, actually... In Big Camera, they didn't have it um, out in the open. They had it in a locked cabinet at uh, Big Camera in uh, Yurakcho. They had it in a locked cabinet, so you can find this, but it's not on display at the uh, Yurakcho Big Camera. So hopefully this information will be of some use to someone else out there.